Well, folks, uh, we're getting ready to introduce another uh, member of our RSG Sire lineup. We've got Dr. Tad Thompson representing him and his family with Silver Dollar Farms, and we are talking about Captain Morgan. Dr. Tad, uh, what's the skinny on this guy? Yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for listening tonight, and it's uh, it's kind of interesting how that how he came about in our deal. Um, you know, he he was probably the crowd favorite from the time that those ET lambs hit the ground, and and uh, you know he rips his tag out, so he's got this shredded ear, and, and uh, he gets poked in the eye from a wire, so he's got a you know ulcerated eye. And so he he got named Captain Morgan because he kind of looked like a looked like a pirate when he was walking around the, in, the, in the pen early on. But um, you know we we kind of had those two sires, the two brothers. We had Captain Morgan and Skyline, and and felt like uh, maybe we would sell one and keep one uh, back for our clean up at our place and kind of see how things do wins. And, and as it turns out, they both kind of had a unique piece and, and given the, given the nature of the industry and, and the summers, we thought, you know what, we'll just hang on to both of them. And they're both a little different in their, in their type and, 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 and could bring a few different things to the, to the industry. So we, uh, we held on to both of them. Absolutely. And uh, I, I know we mentioned it before, you know, a pair of brothers that, uh rff dwarf gene free uh comparing him you know to uh skyline how would you describe this guy uh from a phenotypical standpoint yeah uh so i think the some of the some of the big advantages for this guy is uh just i really like the way his head neck set comes up out of his shoulders and he's one of those you put in motion and his build is so good that you know he he is as wide at the ground as he is up high. He tracks and, and floats really, really smoothly. A lot of flexibility to his joints, uh, soft in his back. You know, I think those are things that that he's just so structurally good that you could be very confident in breeding him as one of those, you know, DDs or FD uh, tighter spine type of type of females. Yeah, absolutely. So, and that's going right into my next question as. Uh, you, you know, you start getting the cradles and the females lined up. Uh, what kind of female do you think is the uh, prototype to take this one to? Yeah, I think um, I think you'd be safe, really safe to take him to to some of those more uh, moderate uh, type of females. I'd probably you know, really a, a round body, round rib view that you might need to kind of pretty up and fancy up and change that shoulder design and change that neck set, neck length. Um, He's he's plenty big pen, you know. He's for a for a have to have sheep standing in the pen. He's got a groove all the way down his back, uh, and, and plenty of uh, turn to the side. You know, if you look at it from the side, he's got plenty of turn to his legs. So I think uh, I think he could work pretty well on those females that need a little bit more shape definition and, and pretty up. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I know we briefly mentioned uh, that he's a flush mate, the skyline. Uh, why don't we touch on that pedigree? Uh, a little more in depth on that flush uh, for those tuning in. Yeah, absolutely. The the Boss Baby U is uh, was uh, the the U lamb we bought from Brad Dale. Uh, she was she was showed by his niece and named Boss Baby, and was uh, she's a Green Line daughter uh, out of a, of a Brister U. And so um, you can see there's a lot of natural shape and, and power in that in that side of the female pedigree, uh, which is really what Kind of makes these these rams um i think unique individuals uh, and then sired by the big city ram which everybody's i'm sure very absolutely and uh you know uh, we can talk about the accomplishments but let's talk about that flush as a whole and uh what they've done to date yeah it's a it was it was a neat really pretty neat flush so uh had good numbers on the on the embryo recovery and had really good live born rate uh, out of what we put in and so um Brad actually got some of the embryos back on that flush as well and, and has uh, a couple of his best females out there came from the same exact flush. We turned around and sold uh, one of the ewe lambs at the black and white, had reserved grand female down there. I think she might have been, I can't remember, I think she was either high seller or second high selling yeah, uh, female, right. yeah. female in that sale. So, um, and, then, and then several brothers of her, um, there's there's one in Oklahoma, several in Indiana, uh, several really good feeders that have bought into those and, and have them out going. And there's been 
So, of course, county fair season's going on right now. So we've we've had uh, several of the flush mates there have been hanging banners at different shows throughout central Indiana and around. So, yeah, it's been a it's been a neat flush. Absolutely. Uh, uh, Captain Morgan and uh, Skyline are uh, two great FF options and powers in the blood on both. Uh, anything else you want to add before we sign off? Yeah, I think that's it. It's, uh, you know, love for people to stop in and look at them. I think the, seeing them in person, uh, it's been fun to let people uh, weigh in on them. Absolutely. So, uh, guys, if you have uh, any questions at all or even want to stop in and see them both, you're more than welcome uh, uh, to get in and visit all the RSG sires uh, at your convenience. Uh, but if you have any questions at all, as always, uh, get on rsgsires.com. Or, or visit Silver Dollar Farms for more information on Skyline or Captain Morgan. Thank you, guys. Thanks a lot.